Susan. I'll be with you in a moment. And now, let's visit Gail Storm at home. Relaxing after a busy day at the studio. Hi, Jimmy Blaine. Hi. You're just in time to join us for a delicious cup of Nescafe. And you're right about it being a busy day at the studio. But it's lots of fun. However, we don't always get a scene right the first time, and we have to reshoot it. Everyone on the set works hard, and we all get hungry for a really good cup of coffee. A cup of Nescafe instant coffee with that wonderful fresh roasted flavor. The flavor you'd expect from the world's most experienced maker of instant coffee. Nescafe is always rich and delicious, so completely satisfying. Right, Jimmy? Yes, indeed, Gail. Nescafe is all coffee. Nothing but pure, delicious coffee. Very delicious coffee. <laughs> So, friends, why don't you enjoy the real coffee that will satisfy your coffee hunger? Nescafe Instant Coffee, with that fresh roasted flavor in every cup you make. Have you seen my favorite manicurist? Yeah. She's still talking short wave to that sheep herder in Australia. She's having quite a romance, isn't she? She sure is. She throws me out as soon as I contact her. Ooh. Oh, Virgil. If you only knew how I worry about you and the condition of your nails. But maybe someday fate will bring us together and I can give you a manicure. Over. Well, you really can't blame them. He's young and handsome, and she's young and beautiful. At least that's what she's told him. Yeah. Well, don't tell Miss Nugent, but here's his QSL card. <laughs> young and handsome. Well, how old are you? Well, Professor Rudolph is about 60. Well, then the captain's call. And Professor Alexander is about 30. By all means, put his call through first. <laughs> Maritime Mobile Ocean Queen calling Professor Rudolph on Matangi Island. This is Maritime Mobile Ocean Queen calling Professor Rudolph on Matangi Island. I'm telling you, if the natives catch us digging here, we're in for trouble. This is a sacred place. It's Cebu. So was King Tut's tomb. Keep digging! I'm afraid you are losing your scientific enthusiasm. I'm just afraid of losing my scientific head. Hey, will you? I think I hit something. Huh? See, see. Oh, it's written in their ancient language. Oh, that is wunderbar. Just what we were looking for. Uh, oh! <laughs> This is Maritime Ocean Queen calling Professor Rudolph on Matangi Island. Can't seem to raise Matangi Island. Oh, they're probably lying in hammocks, being fanned by native girls. <laughs> Shall I try for your mink coat? Let me try. I don't think the FCC is looking. <laughs> Go ahead. This is Susanna Maritime Mobile Pomeroy calling KL8749, calling KL8749 in Alaska. Come in, Cold Nose Callahan. Come on the table. Well, they're very nice. <laughs> They'll make excellent gifts for the Matangi natives. But Captain Huxley, aren't they cannibals? Oh, certainly not. They're only headhunters. Oh, well, they've got nothing to worry about. No. They haven't been active headhunters for, oh, almost a year. At least Professor Rudolph had no trouble with them. He had the last time I talked to him. Oh, that reminds me, I'd better check with Sparks and see if he's contacted the professor. Come in, Old Nose Callahan, in Alaska. <laughs> Old Nose Callahan? Bonsoir, Mademoiselle Susanna Pomeroy. <laughs> this is Jacques LaRouque. A friend of Callahan. Oh? Where's Callahan? He outside, milking a reindeer. Uh, what about your boss? The captain of, uh, how do you say, 
uh, Capitate Huckleberry. Oh, don't believe all those things I told Callahan. He's not really a monster. Well, what is he like? Well, he has a bad temper, can't pass a mirror without admiring himself, and uh, thinks he invented the ocean, but, but we all have our little idiosyncrasies, don't we? Well, he sounds very charming. Yes, then you get to know him. He's really... Well, there's one wonderful thing about the old boy. He hasn't blown up the ship. Yet. Oh, he hasn't, has he? My dear, dear Miss Pomeroy. Jock? You report to Captain Hudson's office immediately. <laughs> what happened? A short circuit. <laughs> The income was open. I do not have a bad temper. And I most certainly do not go around admiring myself in a mirror. I may have a few gray hairs, but I am not an old boy. And as for this romantic shortwave game of yours, calling all men, I don't want to ever catch you doing that again. I promise you, sir, you won't catch me doing that again. You see that I don't. In the future, I want you to confine your social activities to the needs of our passengers. Yes, sir. Oh, you've got a circle around Matangi Island. Tell me, what is Professor Alexander like? To your quarters, Miss Pomeroy. I was just leaving, sir. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but uh, is this our position now? Good night, Miss Pomeroy. <laughs> <gasps> Try Professor Rudolph again. And I'll go ashore in the morning, see my friends, and return to the ship by night. Yes, sir. But not a word about this to Miss Pomeroy. Oh, you can trust me, sir. Mm, yes, I can trust you, but usually it's a mistake. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think that girl has this entire ship wired for sound. <laughs> Nugent, how would you like to meet a real live archaeologist tomorrow? Uh, sure, if he feels the same way about me. Look, do you really think you should? Of course not. Come on, Nugent. <laughs> Fifth and a half, 34 sleeve. This is very interesting. At last, we are going to see the ancient sacrificial rites of the Matangi natives. No, uh, Alma, can we go now? No. No? I tell you not to dig in ancient burial grounds of my ancestors. You must die. But there's the writing on the stone's head. I cannot read ancient language, but this, this means daughter of the sea god. At least let me see what we dug up. Uh, we can read ancient language. Uh, now, this is sun. Now here's per... Yeah. Now, this little chikamadu means old or ancient or something. Yeah, the, here's, the, here's the word for happiness. Yeah. <laughs> it says the day when the sun shines on this stone again, a beautiful goddess with skin like a pearl will come from the sea with an uh, ancient handmaiden and bring happiness to this island. Perhaps she, she could cure my son of evil spirit that is within him. Oh. 
maybe, maybe you shouldn't kill us until the goddess gets here. What if she now come soon? Oh, we'll be glad to wait. Glad? We'll be delighted. Mm. <laughs> if she not come, in time sun falls into the sea, then Abba-Bahua. If she does appear, then we kill you in her honor. Nothing could be fairer than that. Where are you? Oh, goddess with skin like a pearl. Native girls with long black curls, the seeking eye will go. <laughs> Is that it? Put those things under the tarp. What about the trading jewelry? You can come back and get those later. Follow me. Show no fear. Yes, sir. What do we do now, sir? Stand your ground. Show no fear. It's, uh, it's like I said, show no fear. I know, sir. Yeah, sh show no fear. Hungari. Marabanua Banuya. Skarbi Dusha. Marabanua Marabanuya. Who? Wrong door? Mamma Vea, Bakuawa. Mamma Vea, Bakuawa. Mamma Vea, Bakuawa. Mamma Vea, Bakuawa. What are they doing? Mamma Vea. I don't know. But I think I've been made queen for a day. <laughs> We're expecting a beautiful goddess, a queen. Well, naturally, you were a big disappointment to them. Well, they certainly can't be serious about killing us. No, uh, you forget. We violated one of their taboos. The penalty by miracle is death. Well, they can't do this to me. Now, I'm a busy man. I don't have any time for this kind of foolishness. <laughs> you listen to me, Kim Sabi. I demand that you release us. Very nice head. Look good on steak. <laughs> now, come. Goddess waiting. The goddess? Yes. You mean the prediction on the stone tablet came true? Yes. We have big feast and celebration. Oh. Then we kill you in her honor. <laughs> They call me Queen Pomeroy here. Now, see here, Miss Pomeroy. I've been hearing a lot of nonsense 
Down. Bow to the goddess. Bow to her? To her. <laughs> He's not joking. Bow to our goddess. All of you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I don't believe the Queen and I have met these two gentlemen. Uh, Miss Pomeroy and Miss Nugent, Professor Rudolph, Professor Alexander. Miss Pomeroy, do you realize what's going to happen here? No, but I was hopeful. I'm about to lose my head over you. Why, Professor? Susanna, you don't understand. They're going to cut our heads off. Oh, no. <laughs> but but you, you can't do that. It is the law of Matangi. Oh, well, then, then I'll repeal that law. You can't do it. She's absolutely right. After all, she is the goddess predicted on the stone tablet, isn't she? If she's the goddess, why she no one sacrifice? Well, because uh, she likes us. Well, I do, I do. It was written in ancient stone. You come to bring happiness to Matangi. Well, I'll do my best. We believe you true goddess only if you cure my son of evil spirit that troubles him. What's, what's the matter with him? An evil spirit is fighting inside of him. <laughs> Men like that for two moons. Well, the poor little fella has the hiccups. Yeah, well, how are we going to cure him? Doctors have enough trouble themselves, and I'm only a goddess. <laughs> I always use baking soda. I don't suppose you have any in your kitchen? Yeah, well, maybe you get some advice over our short wave set. Hey, who says professors aren't smart? We, uh, we need box that talk, talk long way over sea. You mean radio? Well, if you want the technical term. <laughs> this may take a long time. And a big magic. You cure him by time sand runs out of bowl. Or... I know, I know. You'll get yourself a new goddess. <laughs> goddess orders you to get busy on the short wave and find out a cure for the hiccups. Aye, aye, goddess. <laughs> You're a doctor. How can the head of a hospital suggest a cure like have the patient cross his eyes and blow in a paper bag? Is that the best that medical science has to offer? I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> well, thank you, doctor. Oh, Miss Pomeroy, how are the hiccups coming? Oh, just fine. He hasn't missed a beat. Mm. Tell me, Professor Alexander, how is it that a handsome man like you is willing to spend his Miss life... Miss Pomeroy, our lives are at stake. Oh, well, that's right. We warned everybody by radio not to help us. Not to? No, the natives have short tempers and long knives. They would do away with us before anybody could land. Maritime Mobile Queen calling Matangi Island. This is Maritime Mobile Ocean Queen. That spots. Oh, how I wish I was sitting beside him right now. Captain Huxley speaking. Oh, Captain Huxley. Uh, sir, maybe you can help. I just intercepted a message from a ham operator in Tasmania. 
It seems that some nitwits on an island are gonna get their heads chopped off unless they can cure a native boy of the hiccups. Any suggestions? You stop that laughing. We're the nitwits. And the queen of the nitwits is Miss Pomeroy. Then I could better send the shore party to rescue you. No, no, no. They would kill us before you could land. Oh, huh. yes, sir. Well, let us know how you make out. We'll let go either way. Well, I, I gather you didn't get any good advice. Mm. Hey, wait a minute. I've got it. The chief says there's an evil spirit inside the boy, right? Oh, now, Miss Pomeroy, let's don't recapitulate. The sand must be running out by now. With the power stood in me as the goddess of Matangi, why can't I transfer the evil spirit into one of you? And then when the boy hears you start hiccuping, he'll believe it's gone and think he's cured. Wonderful. Of course. The demon worshippers of New Guinea use the same technique. They just transfer the evil spirit into another person. <laughs> and then, of course, they kill the other person. <laughs> oh, well, uh, Cedric, I guess uh, you're Captain, the... I wish to tender my resignation as steward of the Ocean Queen. Well, while, uh, while you boys are drawing straws for the honor, I'll start planning the ceremony. How good bowl. Hold that much sand. Oh, just another miracle. More drums! Oh, Miss Pomeroy, quit stalling. Perform your miracle. Now keep cool, Captain. I have to build up to it. Assistant Goddess, a, a little miracle dance, if you please. again that the evil spirit will go from his body into the body of the captain. Bravo. Carpocore the bill of Okazani. Bravo, Baba. Okay. Okay. Everybody, cross fingers. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Evil spirit, you must go. Hocus, pocus. Antitoxin, poodle, chow, and long-haired dachshund. <laughs> if this plan gangs after Glay, run for the boat and don't delay. Evil spirit, go, man, go. We don't want you anymore. Go from boy into the man. Go according to the plan. Goodbye, hiccups. Goodbye, hiccups. Goodbye, hiccups. They're going, going to leave you now. <laughs> Evil spirits, go away. Go away. Go away. Evil spirits, go away. Into the captain now. Okay? Okay. <laughs> We kill him now. And breed of evil spirit forever. Oh, no. No, this, this is his punishment. Evil spirit will stay with him. I have spoken. Keep hiccuping till we get to the boat. <laughs> Goodbye, big chief. Little chief. Allah, oh. Allah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Pomeroy, I haven't been able to get rid of these blasted since I left this blasted island. Will you please come to my office immediately? Yes, sir. Excuse me, Alex. Uh, I'll be right back. Of course it'll work on you. It didn't work on the little boy because he didn't understand that it's a sure cure. Now, you're civilized. You understand English. <laughs> Assume the position. Huh? Oh, 
Miss Barbaroi, this is ridiculous. Careful. Eeny, meeny, 